this module, I am going to talk to you about pneumothoraces. Basically, the diagnosis and management of pneumothorax, but I am going to go into a little bit more of detail even about the pathology and pathogenesis. So, we will start off with basics, things that you know about already. So, you know pneumothorax is presence of air in the pleural space. Now, the negative intrapleural pressure ensures that there is no spontaneous migration of air into the pleural cavity because the pleural cavity has a negative pressure of 36 millimeters of water. Hence, when you think about it, there can be three possible mechanisms by which air can leak into the pleural cavity. First, if there is a communication between the alveolar and the pleural space. Second, if there is air coming in from outside, so if you have a communication between the atmosphere and the pleural space. And third, which is more a theoretical and a very rare possibility is when this presence of gas producing organisms in the pleural space. So, those are the theoretical possibilities by which you can have air in the pleural cavity. When you think about primary, primary spontaneous pneumothorax, I am going to tell you something which is slightly different to what the long standing ideas have been. So, primary spontaneous pneumothorax conventionally is thought to be absence of clinically apparent lung disease over which you get a pneumothorax. Secondary pneumothorax conventionally is when there is, there is underlying lung disease, underlying lung disease in the way of COPD, cystic fibrosis, pulmonary fibrosis, lung cancer and you can think of a wide variety of other lung diseases. And then conventionally you have a third variety which is non-spontaneous pneumothorax which is caused by trauma and can be iatrogenic so caused by us. I start off by showing you this x-ray. So, we start off with this particular case where you look at a man 18 years old who is a non-smoker who comes to you with sudden onset chest pain. And if you look carefully and I do not know how well this projects to you on your laptop or the computer that you are watching it on, there is a chink of pneumothorax at the very lung apex. And you can see this, this is a inspiratory and expiratory film and you can see it in both the films, maybe in the second one it shows up better. So, this is the scenario in which you think about aspirating air. And when you think about aspirating here air, you think about the area which is thought to be the safe area for aspirating air. And you can see that 2 centimeter area over the anterior chest wall, but not completely medial. You're going